everybody. Oh, I need to adjust the camera. Just a touch. There we go. All right. Hello. It's time for Reading with Ray. I'm Renee. I'm the children's librarian at Salem Public Library in Salem, Ohio. And this is our virtual book club. We are on day three. Um, our mascot right there, she is. She's right behind me. When I'm at home, I don't get too far away from Ray. She, she's my little buddy. Um, if you've been watching the last couple of days, I promise I did record all of these in one day. I'm not wearing the same clothes every single day. Um, so actually, no, you still can't see him. So Griffin is still sitting right here beside me. He's my buddy. He's got his head up a little bit. Okay, so it's day three. It's Wednesday. Uh, so we're going to actually cross the halfway point on Inspector Flytrap today. So hopefully you guys are still reading along, following along with me. Uh, I hope you, you did the museum tour and looked around at both some Da Vinci and some Van Gogh artwork, maybe some others. There's lots of great art out there, and a lot of it is being shared online, so we can all enjoy it. Um, do I have any announcements? I don't, I don't think I really do, so I think we can probably just dive into our work, our book today. Um, I think, see, I think Ray might actually take a nap today. She's all worn out from playing with her toys in the first two videos. Okay, so we are reading Inspector Flytrap by Tom Engelberger and C.C. Bell. Um, you can, and, and say, so thank you to them and thank you to Abrams Books for allowing us to share this content with our library audience. Um, it says strange times we're living in so that, you know, they're allowing us to do these things which is really wonderful and we really appreciate it. Um, I feel like there was something else I was supposed to say. Hmm, I'll probably think of it as we go on. Um, so we are today we are reading Inspector Flytrap in The Big Deal Mystery of the Stinky Cookies. I've said it in the last two days, but if you haven't downloaded a copy of the book from Hoopla, uh, yet, please take a few minutes and go do that so that you can follow along, uh, improve your own reading skills, see the great pictures that CC Bell has done for this book, and let's let's see what Inspector Flytrap and Nina are up to today. So this is part two, Inspector Flytrap in the Big Deal Mystery of the Stinky Cookies. There was I'm like not centered at all. Sorry, Griffin. I'm gonna make Griffin move over a little bit. Well, chapter seven, my phone rang. Hello, I said, Flytrap Detective Agency. Do you have a big deal mystery? A tiny boy said, yes. Are you a fly, I asked. Yes, said the tiny voice. Sorry, I said, I can't work for flies. Sometimes I accidentally eat them. The fly hung up. Chapter 8. My phone rang. Hello, I said, Flytrap Detective Agency. Do you have a big deal mystery? You better believe it's a big deal, Mr. Flytrap, said a crazy voice. Are you kidding me? It's big, all right. It sure ain't small, I'll tell you that. My name is Inspector Flytrap, I said. If your mystery is really that big, maybe I should come over and see it for myself. See it? Flytrap, you need to come down here to Coco Dodo's cookie shop and smell it. Take one whiff and you won't have to ask if it's a big deal. This guy really is crazy, I thought, but he did seem to have a big deal mystery. I decided to take the case. Nina, get the skateboard, I said. There's a big deal mystery down at Coco Dodo's cookie shop. Big deal, said Nina, but I think she was secretly excited. She loves cookies. The cookie shop was all the way across town, so Nina pushed me to the subway. I hate taking the subway because I'm afraid of getting stepped on. Well, you're a plant. Getting stepped on isn't a joke. Luckily, I found a seat next to a sloth reading a newspaper. He never moved. As soon as we got out of the subway, I noticed a strange smell. Oh, that doesn't smell like fresh baked cookies, I told Nina. Nina pushed me down the street to the cookie store. 
The smell got worse and worse. A dodo was waiting for us out front. I'm Coco Dodo, said the dodo. My name is, I began, but Coco Dodo kept right on talking. Do you smell that? That smells like a big deal, doesn't it? Huh? Yeah, yeah, it does. I wanted to hold my nose, but I don't have one. Is that smell coming from inside your cookie store? I asked. How dare you, snarled Coco Dodo. The only smell that comes from inside my shop is from freshly baked cookies made using super secret recipes from my great, great, great grandpa's super secret cookbook. I have super secret recipes for over 300 different kinds of cookies and they all smell good. Do you have a super secret recipe for cookies with dead flies in them? I asked. Of course not, shouted Coco Dodo. Too bad, I said. Okay, if the smell isn't coming from inside your store, then where's it coming from? From up there on the roof. I looked on the roof. There was a very big shoe up there. It was as big as a bathtub. Big heel, said Nina. Oh, that Nina and her big things. Chapter nine. Where did it come from? I asked Coco Dodo. I have no idea. That's the big deal mystery. That's why I called you. You're supposed to figure it out. Well, I said, it's big and it's a mystery, but why is it a big deal? Why is it a big deal? Just look at my store, said Coco Dodo. I looked at it. It was empty. Well, except for the cookies. I mean, it was empty of customers. Usually, I have customers lined up around the block. Now, nobody will go in the store because they think my cookies stink, he fumed. That's why I need you to solve the mystery, instead of just standing around asking questions all day. Yeah, I, I imagine a giant, a bathtub-sized shoe on your roof would definitely make things stinky. Well, asking questions is how I usually solve a mystery, I told him. But if it will make you feel better, I'll send Nina up there to taste the shoe. Why the heck would you do that? Coco Dodo asked. Well, it worked the last time. I said, go ahead, Nina, when, when she licked the painting. That solved the, the mystery. Most goats can jump very high. Nina can jump higher than most goats. She made a big jump and landed on the roof of the cookie store. She took a great big bite out of the shoe. She chewed it for a minute and started to turn green. She bleated, and that she killed over. She fell right off the roof. Luckily, she landed on Coco Dodo and was not injured. What did it taste like? I asked when she had finished gagging and choking. <coughs> Old fish, said Nina. <coughs> and the beach, <coughs> rope, <coughs> boats, <coughs> treasure chests, <coughs> the seven seas. She stopped and thought for a second. <coughs> and dirty feet, she added. That's ridiculous, asked Coco Dodo, still lying under Nina. How would a goat know what dirty feet taste like? You don't want to know, I told him. Did Nina eat someone's feet? Hmm. Chapter 10. This was a tough case. Why was there only one shoe? Why was it so big? Why did it taste like old fish, the beach, rope, boats, treasure chests, the seven seas, and dirty feet. Suddenly I knew the answer. Aha! I shouted. I have solved another big deal mystery. Do you know whose shoe this is? Asked Coco Dodo. Yes, it belongs to a peg like pirate. What's a peg like pirate? Asked Coco Dodo. A peg leg pirate is a pirate who has lost a leg. Maybe a shark ate the leg or maybe a cannonball hit it. So he has one real leg and one wooden leg. So he only needs one shoe. But why a big shoe? Because he's a giant peg leg pirate. At this point, I expected Coco Dodo to thank me. He didn't. That makes sense, right? It belongs to a giant peg leg pirate. All right. Um, if you're looking at the book, there's a great little comic here. I don't know how well I can show. I don't think I can show it to you guys. Uh, but it starts out with the pirate. He's got two legs. 
And the parrot's saying, them some great looking shoes, pirate. And the parrot's, arr, thanks, matey. Yeah, too bad you're headed for one of two possible disasters. Eh? Possible disaster number one, a shark. Oh, oh, the yuck. The shark, shark doesn't actually like his foot, but he's eating it anyways. Possible disaster number two, cannonball. Yuck! The cannonball is saying yuck this time. Ha uh ha, -huh, now you have a peg leg and only one great looking shoe. <sighs> Squawk! I forgot he used, was a giant pirate with a mighty big shoe. He's trying to step on the parrot. So that, that's why you guys got to have a copy of the book so you can see the great comics that come with this one. A giant peg leg pirate. That's all you got? That's your solution? What I want to know is what to do about it. Ah, oh, I said, that is a different big deal mystery. Can you solve it? N not right now. I said, we have to go. Why? Because Nina is eating your great, great, great grandpa's super secret cookbook. And by the time Coco Dodo got to her, she was swallowing the last page. Coco Dodo went nuts. He ran around in a circle, flapping his tiny wings. I'm ruined, ruined. I can't bake cookies without my secret for secret recipes. We left quickly. <clears throat> Chapter 11. When we got back to the office, I decided to give Nina a lecture about not eating stuff that doesn't belong to her. Nina, you really upset Coco Dodo. Wow, well, she said. What? I can't understand you when you talk with your mouth full. She swallowed the doorknob that she had been chewing and said, Big deal. I was about to tell her that it really was a big deal when the phone rang. Fly Trap Detective Agency, I said. Do you have a mystery? A big voice said, Arr, yes, matey. Uh-oh. Is it a big deal mystery, I asked? The big voice said, Arr, yes, matey. Are you a giant peg-leg pirate who's missing a shoe, I asked? The big voice said, Arr, yes, matey. Aha, another big deal mystery solved. You will find your shoe on top of Coco Dodo's cookie store downtown. The big voice said, Arr, thanks, matey. And that is the end of part two. All right. You guys think there's really giant peg leg pirates out there that lose their stinky shoes? I don't know. I don't think I want to actually find out about that. Okay. Let me find my activities for this one. Okay. So we will continue on with Inspector Flytrap tomorrow. Uh, with Inspector Flytrap has lunch. So come back at 4 o'clock tomorrow to get the next section of the book. And in between, if you're looking for something to do, my activities for you today are to draw the giant peg leg pirate. Make him as fancy or as plain as you want to. Uh, if you draw him, maybe have your grown-ups take a picture of your drawing and post it in the comments of the video so I can see it. I would love it if you would share it with me. Uh, and in this story so far, uh, Nina doesn't say a whole lot. She's pretty cool quiet goat. She eats a lot of things. But the one thing she says over and over again is big deal. Uh, she also said big meal when she saw the painting of the spaghetti. And I think she said big something else at one point. I don't remember what. Uh, so here is my task for you guys today. Grab a, a pen or a pencil and some paper. And I want you to start writing down all the words you can think of that rhyme with deal. And so you can make some phrases like, like Nina's big deal became big meal when she saw something yummy to eat. So come up with something. Um, just trying to think off the top of my head, but of a good rhyme for this one and what we could use it for. Um, big seal. So maybe, maybe they're at the beach. And Nina spies a giant seal swimming in the ocean. And she might say, big seal. 
So that is that is your challenge, your activity, or whatever you want to call it that I've given you for today. Think of some rhyming words that go with deal and tell us how Nina might use those in a, fra in a phrase describing whatever her and Inspector Flytrap are up to today. Uh, tomorrow they're, they're going to have get lunch and then they're going to solve another mystery. So we're going to find out what they're up to tomorrow at four o'clock. Um, if you draw your pictures or you make up some rhymes, you know, write stuff down, same thing, snap some pictures or just type it right into the comments on Facebook so that I can see what you're up to. So nobody has to, it's just for fun, just to give you all something to do. And Daisy Ray and I will be back. Oh, she's, she's napping now. Uh, we will be back tomorrow to read more of Inspector Flytrap, so we will see you then. Thanks. Bye.